Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. Going to be kind of an update as to what all's going on. Uh, going to talk a little bit. Going to show you some junk. And uh, got the two mowers out here. We've had actually kind of a warm day, so letting them uh, cure. I'm really not going to do much of anything to uh, kudzu probably for four or five days. I'm going to let that paint sit and cure since I painted it in colder weather. And then we will uh, go ahead and get the black taken care of. I went ahead and bought the black paint so we can get it all touched up. And I got some rims so I can go ahead and put those uh, 22 inch tires on here and get all that little little bitty stuff squared away and get the uh, aluminum uh, diamond plate piece on there as well. This one is good. A um, little bit more touch up paint on it. And I still have to get one more can. I'm going to stand it up on its end and then paint uh, the underside of it. And we'll have it all taken care of. The reason it's a funky color and I love it. And I may, I may never paint another frame black after kudzu. Um, this is the uh, rust oleum stuff. So it has a really good rust inhibitor in it. And that's what I wanted. And great color too. Metal flake blue. Nuts and bolts and hardware. Uh, this is the stuff I got to put the... Uh, hood rack on uh, kudzu so it's not going to be held in place by zip ties when I get everything finished and like I said when I get through with it I want to be done with it because I got so much other stuff to do uh, besides just playing with the mowers and everything around here uh, I got the 40 links master links and I got the 40 half links the uh, five of these of the uh, unilinks were $2.99 and then four of the half links were $4.99 eh, for a total of almost nine bucks not bad not bad now got the chain sitting right here we're going to take a look at them and lay them on there and see what we can do I looked at the uh, tensioner or uh, the idler the geared idler uh, it is only for a 35 number 35 chain so I don't think that uh, geared idler is gonna work and I looked at Northern Tool and the only one they had was for a uh, 35 as well I believe um, so I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find one until I do I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, proceed with uh, some type of retainer we're gonna see if we can't fabricate up something to uh, hold those some kind of guide uh, to hold those chains in place more to okay, come, guys. We can get this chain here. Let me kind of clean it off a little bit. We boiled it for a few hours yesterday, and I think that it will be ideal. Yeah, chain looks really good. We're going to uh, go ahead and get it uh, out here and get it set on these uh, sprockets. Wear gloves when you're doing this kind of stuff because you get all ooky. Okay, okay guys. guys, now what you are looking at is uh, the tensioner and where it would go and uh, apply tension to the chain. And there's Edward. And that means he climbed up on my new paint. Yeah, I love you too, Edward. Damn cat. Anyway, um, there is a tensioning spring back here. I can already tell you I'm going to replace this spring uh, with a stiffer spring. A lot uh, stiffer spring. So what I am thinking of doing here, since I didn't see a toothed tensioner in a number 40 chain size I'm going to try a roller uh, with a guide rail or a side rail on it to uh, bring that thing up and keep tension on it so we're gonna look and see what we have to do that with small 
more uh, rollers or wheels with bearings, something something like that. Like uh, somebody had suggested uh, skateboard wheels. So I thought I could fab something up around something like that. I'm sure I have something over here, but I got to climb up in the uh, bird's nest up there and uh, dig around and see what I got. I want to show you what all I've been doing. I've still been doing a lot of stuff over here on this side. It's just really hadn't been uh, advertising it or anything like that. There is uh, uh, the sand wrap. I got to get all that stuff squared up on that one. Uh, my go-kart. Damn it, I'm going to get my go-kart going. And uh, there's that other mower that didn't sell over the winter. I cranked it up and let it run for a while today. I got two more mowers on the other side. Remember the Cub Cadet with the uh, Kawasaki motor? Yeah, I forgot about it. Got two more complete riding mowers over there on that side. Got to get ready for spring, too. Nothing terrible, but just got to get them done. Uh, there's the Murray Gator over here. It's just been too damn cold to paint. Uh, the paint wouldn't stick. So what I'm doing is just keeping this clean. Uh, we get a week of decent warm weather, 50 degrees or above, and I'll go ahead and start painting it. So that means spring. But until then, it's clean, clean, clean. Uh, I've pressure washed everything from like eight feet down. And except for this, and I'll be through with it, I'm going to climb up in here and start looking around in all this nasty crap. See what I can find. Uh, back to Murray Gator. After I get these next two builds finished up, I'm going to do a refresh on Murray Gator and try to do it uh, the way I wanted to do it originally. My first thought was to put a motor in between the uh, two transaxles. So each transaxle would operate independently if one went down the other one but doing it the way I did it uh, I have a primary and then I have a, a secondary so I want to do away with that completely so ultimately the engine would be I don't know something like right in here gonna I mean it's all gonna be completely reconfigured I know everybody loves the Mary Gator but I'm gonna see I want to change it up a little bit um, see what we can do a little bit differently I mean if everybody does the same thing it's you know it's all the same thing so let me see what I can dig up and find yes. on these rollers uh, we are venturing into the ship pile because I have not found it that's that other damn box I still got to get cleaned up and uh, cleaned out see, I mean, got some of it's empty it's got like all kinds of shit there's some CBs there's an antenna, there's a gun holster, and here we go back into the shite. More fire extinguishers. God, I'll never be rid of those fire extinguishers. Oil filters. Um, I'm looking for any kind of roller bearing-ish piece of equipment. And no snakes. Um, old depth finder. We're venturing back a little bit further. May lose you because we're running out of light. Let me see what I can find back here. Make sure this floor is solid. There we go. We got a little bit of light now. That's all good. Uh. I need to put that in the shop. Those are some heavy duty shop lights. And uh, they probably work. But I don't see a ton of rope, barge rope. Um, um, exposure suit. Eh, that might be interesting. We may pull that out and uh, go through it in just a minute. Um, like I said, bunch of shit, bunch of crap, no tent. There's that. It's a winter wiper to a boat. Um, I just don't see anything. Oh. Now that's handy, in case of mothballs. Those deter snakes. So, 
I don't know guys we're gonna have to look around gonna have to see take a look Boy, at God. this uh, any of my coasties you might remember this that is the door off of the galley to the US uh, CG Hornbeam uh, take a look at it well, look it up actually no I have looked all over the place so what I am probably gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna go hit the thrift store and buy me a skateboard I'm curious to see if that would work uh, y'all gonna make some mayhem the music's about to start playing <laughs>